folks. It is now 3.35, and I just got done watching Wedlock. Oh yes, now we're cooking. This is when the shit hits the fan, okay? This is when it gets really good. Rutger Hauer plays Frank Warren, a diamond thief, who gets screwed over by his accomplice, his accomplice, his accomplices, uh, Joan Chen and James Remar, ends up in this futuristic jail with collars on that make your head explode if you go too far out of the prison, or if you get separated from your buddy. His buddy is the luscious, beautiful Mimi Rogers. Oh yeah, co-ed prisons. Yeah. So. They, of course, escape because he's got a, a stash of diamonds somewhere and all this intrigue and all these double crosses and triple crosses and crazy crap happens. Okay, this, this, is, this is a fun frickin' movie, alright? This is like one of those kooky, silly, late-night movies that does not care if you're not entertained, you know? It's like, it's just gonna do whatever it wants without you, like... It's impossible not to love this movie. It's just so... It's just a cornball, pointless, um, futuristic movie. Nothing other than, um, like, little in-jokes and stuff are futuristic. Like, nothing's futuristic except the, the news or, like, um, they complain about how polluted everything is. It's, it's just ridiculous. Um, let me check my notes. Okay, it's like they took the best parts of Running Man, the, the collars that make your head explode, and a couple that, has, that is on the run that's forced to be together for some reason, and said, hey, let's make a whole movie just about the cool parts of Running Man. I mean, it was so perfect. It was perfectly cast. It was a lot of fun. It did not make you embarrassed or feel stupid for watching it. Like, it was really cool. Um... Just, just a lot of fun. I think the, I think the sets were like the only thing I can complain about. There was when they're in the prison, the sets are like really fucking cheap. But that's about the worst of it. So that's a pretty good movie if you think about it. Um, what else am I forgetting here? Oh yeah, everyone in the prison they don't get numbers. They get colors. And um, and uh, Rutger Hauer's name in prison is Magenta. So everyone keeps calling him Mr. Magenta. I like that. And um, it's just such, it's just a weird movie. It's a weird, strange movie. Um, just you know, something you need to watch sometime, especially when you've you know had a few to drink or you've watched like several movies before that, because it worked for me. Uh, okay, I'm. Gonna go check the mail, see if Blood of the Heroes came in from Netflix. It's a key movie to the uh, movie-thon. I probably shouldn't have depended on Netflix to get a movie to me on time. So, cross your fingers. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, I gotta walk the dog again, so I'll walk the dog and check the mail and come back. Okay, bye. Oh yeah, who's got... Blood of Heroes. I've got Blood of Heroes. Thank you, sweet Netflix. Thank you for not teasing me with your lies. I just got done with the Blood of Heroes. Um, I gotta tell you, it was not easy to get through. A post-apocalyptic sports movie is still a sports movie, and uh, this movie was just so dreary. The DVD was extremely dark. The audio was muddled, so it was even like I had to work really hard just to hear and understand what was going on, and I. Rutger Hauer plays Sallow, a professional jugger, that's what they call their football players, who, uh, he has a team, and they're going to the city 
to challenge a league team because they're, you know, jugging outside of the league. Um, and that's the whole movie. That's the entire movie. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, um, broken. I mean, it was, it was really tough to get through. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio was in it. Uh, Joan Chen was in it. Um, uh, what's his name? Hold on. Uh, Delroy Lindo is in it. He's really good. It's a good cast. But nothing can save that movie. I mean, they must have sounded good on paper or something, but it's just, just wow. I think, um, about 30 minutes in, I was like totally done. I was ready to, I was ready to just give up after 30 minutes. And then by the hour mark, they get to the city and it's a little interesting. There's some pale aristocracy people that live underground and that was kind of neat. And, uh, you know, how could you go up in quality after wedlock? I, this is clearly an example of how you can't. Wedlock may be the perfect Rutger Hauer movie. I'll see you soon. It's almost dinner time. Uh, Lietta is home from work. Margie's home. We're all home. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. I just hope I don't have any more fucking Jugger movies. Jugger. <gasps> Juggalos. I just watched Rutger Hauer in Past Midnight. It is now like 8 o'clock or something. Um, it was a decent thriller. In the movie, he played someone named Ben Jordan, who is a convicted criminal. 14 years later, he gets out of jail. He gets a social worker named... I forgot her name. It's played by Natasha Richardson. They have a steamy affair thing going on. She's got a jealous friend who wants to be more than a friend. And there's all this question back and forth. Is he innocent? Is he guilty? Blah, 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 blah. It was okay. It's a good thriller. No idea who was going to be the killer or whatever. It was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um... There was an extended love-making scene. That's, it was clearly a film for adults or something. There was this long sex scene. It went on forever. And uh, that's it. That was the whole movie. Um, I don't think it was that good. Rucker Howard was good in it. But then again, he's been good in like all these movies, so... I'm going to go to 7-Eleven and get some caffeine of some kind. And uh, we, we will we'll watch another movie. Yay! This is always happening to me. <laughs> I just watched, actually Lieta, Margie, and I just watched Split Second. Uh, in Split Second, Rutger Hauer plays a cop named Stone, who is a little on the edge. You see, he's trying to catch a serial killer. And this is in the future. Global warming has made uh, London flood really badly. So there's water, water everywhere. And then um, he gets this new partner who is a expert in uh, serial killer profiling and uh, his name is Dick Durkin and uh, they have to work together to catch this serial killer and um, Kim Cattrall is in it and Kim Cattrall is, is really cute in this she's got a lot of personality a lot of pizzazz and this was before Sex in the City so She's actually good, you know. Um, Pete Postlewaite is in this. I was surprised to see him. And uh, 
It was a lot of fun. It's really good. Uh, I think Split Second is on Netflix On Demand or Netflix Online or whatever. You should watch it. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, very uh, wacky comedy mixed with sci-fi and horror. A um, little disappointing when they show what's been doing the uh, serial killing. It's, uh, it's a little disappointing. I won't spoil it for you because I want you to watch it. Uh, but, uh, you know. But the movie's great. The movie's great. Um, I think it's... I think it's 9.45. I think it's 9.45 right now. It's almost 10. So, I'm going to watch another Rutger Hauer movie soon. But, uh, Lietta noticed that, um, when you're making a post-apocalyptic movie, just set it like 10 or 15 years in the future, that way you don't have to build any sets. You just use regular sets. And maybe film them all dingy and shit. So anyway, um, thank you for sticking around this long. I'm gonna watch a movie. It is now 11.33 p.m. and I just finished watching something called Beyond Justice. Beyond Justice is a film starring Rutger Hauer, Omar Sharif, and uh, Brett Halsey, and a bunch of other people. The musical score was by Ennio Morricone, and uh, the film was directed by Duccio Tassari. From the moment it started, we knew we were in trouble. I don't, I don't want to watch a desert adventure. I don't want to follow a little boy who looks like a girl towards his, her journey to manhood. I don't feel it's necessary for me to do that in my life. And I, I need you to know that that's not what I'm about. What I am about is stopping the movie-thon right now. But there's movies. There's still more Rutger Hauer movies. So tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to do some bonus films for this movie-thon. I hope I'll see you there. Because I don't know, man. Beyond Justice. <laughs> Rutger Hauer is like a guy named Tom Burton. Is that a play on Tim Burton? What does that mean? What does it mean to go to the desert? To shoot machine guns? To fire stinger rockets? You know, what does it all mean? Is it like Lawrence of Arabia? I don't understand. What I do understand that if you have Omar Sharif, Brett Halsey, and Rutger Hauer in a movie, you've got a stupid fucking movie. So thank you. Did I mention that Lietta made macaroni and cheese tonight and had feta cheese in it? It was awesome. She also made mustard greens. Good night. Or is it?